Hi, I'm Peter Haddock. I'm here with Peter from AE Aerospace. Peter, you're the MD of AE, and you're a business that has actually really taken advantage of the apprenticeship levy. And we're here today to celebrate that levy. Three years in, folks, West Midlands Combined Authority has done a whole heap of work to get more levy funding into businesses like yours. Tell me, how's it made the difference for you and, and your smaller business? You know, you're not a massive, huge conglomerate, are you? You really have got a specialist business. Uh, yeah, we're a specialist made to print um, aerospace machine components business. And our story actually goes back before the three years of the, uh, the, the levy transfer program uh, to eight years ago when we did our management buyout originally and our first decision was to reintroduce apprentices and apprenticeship schemes into the business and it, they hadn't been there for many many years and we felt that we needed to grow our own internal people to develop the next generation and develop the next managers leaders and, and potentially owners so um, through that point until the apprenticeship levy started was really really useful uh, but then the apprenticeship levy has really, really helped us with the additional funding to bridge that gap. And it, it's helped us really take on an additional cohort, far more apprentices than we would have anticipated before. So with, the, uh, with LJ's um, cohort, uh, we aimed for two. We actually took six on that year. Six people? Yeah. So you've literally gone from two which you would have been able to fund yeah. potentially on your own yeah. to six new people? Absolutely. And, uh, and, and as a percentage, that's 12% of our company size. Wow. 12% in one year, folks, of the company now coming through as an apprenticeship. That really is a legacy investment, isn't it? Absolutely, and, and these guys and girls are, are spread across the whole business. We, we have three on the shop floor and two in the offices, uh, three in the offices, sorry. Uh, now one of the shop floor uh, apprentices, she's moved over into an engineering role, um, and they are our future. We can see them as engineering managers, quality managers, potentially owners and managing directors in years to come. It would be great to see that happen, Peter, but one of your uh, employees that we've talked to all, already today, he said, one, the apprenticeship scheme is really teaching him uh, all the different things and life skills that he's got. Two, he's putting money in his pocket. He's actually bought a car, folks, with some of that money, traveling to work in that now, and helping his family out, which was really important to him. But he's not seeing the apprenticeship as a... He's two years in now, not seeing an apprenticeship as a, oh, it's final and, and then off I go. Yeah. You've given him a career path from yeah. that apprenticeship onwards, haven't you? Tell me why is that so important? We want to hire the best and keep the best so that we don't give apprenticeship contracts. We give a contract of employment and that is a permanent employment contract. And um, it's not a case of when they get to the end of their apprenticeship, then we, we talk. Mm. It's, uh, that's just the progression. So we're absolutely desperate to get the best people we can. Because we're a small SME, we have to fight against the big companies in the area to attract the best talent, treat them as well as possible, uh, reward them, pay them as well as possible. So none of them are on the uh, apprenticeship level payments. They're all higher than that and then how we train them and how we develop them. I mean, the apprentice you've been talking to, LJ, he's got a newer car than I have, <laughs> which, which to be fair, most of the apprentices do. Fantastic. So I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> but that's it, you're giving people that opportunity as well. And, and with LJ, he's basically talked to me today about saying how that is making an impression on his peers. Mm. how they now look at him as an individual who's doing well, who's got a career in front of him, and he's got that ambition to grow. It's important, isn't it? Very much so. We, we give people the basis with the contract so they've got the security. Then we give them the training. We have not just at Make UK, um, so the apprentices go off there for either day release or, or, or put full-time release at the beginning, some of them. They also have a team of very highly qualified people around them and then they are allowed to uh, make mistakes, they're allowed, they're given authority and they're given responsibility. 
So all of the things that they need to understand how things work, how things shouldn't work and how they grow. And very much with the case, with, with, with they're coming from school, we're getting 16 year olds through to 19 year olds. Yep. And no, they haven't got the life skills. It, it's, it's the discipline of turning up in the morning at the right time. It's being awake all day. It's doing <laughs> the job that needs to be done. Oh, not by Friday or next week. No, those parts have got to be done and go Today, out. Yeah. They've got to be right. Yeah. You've got to accurately feed back information. And we slowly ramp up with them as to how they do that. And when LJ said measuring earlier on, he is measuring some extremely fine tolerances down to um, 10 microns. Wow, which um, is just, you can't see that. No, it, well, a hair on your head is 125 microns in diameter. Wow. So that's the kind of tolerance, size, tolerance difference, yeah, yeah. size difference. And the features on there, I can't see them. I was down there yesterday and they said, well, that's not right. What's not right? Mm. They can see it. They have to measure it. They have to understand technical drawings and work out how to measure those components and so on. And that's what we're bringing through in LJ's case. Our other apprentices are doing other things, yep. equally valid and equally important. And what's really exciting about this, folks, is we've gone there, two people, apprenticeships available, fantastic. Now with the levy transfer that you've got, six people that are now coming into employment, they're giving back to the community, giving back to their parents, buying new cars, investing their money in the future. Yep. And also, folks, you know, you've got a highly technical business a aerospace which is changing the way in which we make parts changing the way in which we can fly and be more sustainable in the future every little drop helps that we can save on fuel in that sense but these are highly technical jobs in an industry that's desperate to actually grow and, and take advantage of them really great to see you today and thanks very much for telling your story thank you very much